How does this Hamilton Beach iron perform? Kim Townsell here. Welcome to or welcome back to my channel. I actually know how this particular model of the iron works as I've had one for years. The other one finally died even though I cleaned it. I have a video up about that which I'll link at the end of this video about how I restored it. But it finally quit working at all. The buttons quit mashing and quit, quit steaming and everything. So I went, to go, I went to Walmart to buy another one, and I didn't really see one that I liked any better than this. The box was kind of smashed up, but I opened it to make sure that all the components were there. <clears throat> and this was the least smashed up one. I can never open boxes. What is it with me, I'm never being able to open boxes? So let me show you the features of this iron before we get started. I did see some at the store that, that I took out of the box because I wanted to see what kind of features they had. The reason I like this one is it has a non-stick um, plate on the bottom of it. I don't want the ones that are just pure stainless steel or that are kind of cheaply made. I like this one because it has a, a little cord attachment thing that kind of swivels around. It has a really, really super long cord on it. I like that it has the steam feature and it also has a spray feature. You can mash this one and it's going to spray like a little bit of um, water out down here if you need to like get something that's really, really wrinkled out. Um, it has the settings for the how much steam you want. And of course it has the dial setting for the temperature control like most irons do. Another feature I really like about this one is the flip top for the uh, water hole. Some of the ones that I looked at, they were, they were going to be really, really hard to, to put water into the iron, and I don't really want, want that. Plus, this one is very ergonomically balanced. It uh, moves well. It has a little slender edge right here so that you can get into narrow, narrow places, which is good for me. So, I like that. The instructions are pretty straightforward. I like instructions that have graphics that tell you where all the components are. So it's easy to figure out. Has general how to use it as a dry iron, how to use it as a steam iron, care and cleaning. And one thing I've learned is I have hard water and it tells here to alternate between tap water and distilled water for use in the iron. And I'm only going to use distilled water in my iron because our water is so hard here. That's what killed my last iron for so long. And I was able to fix it with vinegar, but it was not a pleasant experience. I'll be using distilled water in this iron only. Has the same information in Spanish. The details on the box, it tells you that it has a non-stick sole plate that is 10 times more durable than traditional non-stick, which is a, a nice feature. Has a three-way auto shut off, it's anti-drip, has vertical steam, meaning that you can hold it this way while your clothes are hanging up and you can use it as a steamer to steam clothes out without having to put them on the ironing board. Some things you don't really want to put on the ironing board and have to press them out, it's going to, it is going to speed up the decay of the fabric, so using vertical steam is a very good option for most clothing. It has a self-cleaning feature, it has extra long cord as I stated, and it's 1,500 watts. And here's some more information about the front of the package. That's in Spanish, which I can't read. This is in English, which I can mostly read. It has a 10-year limited warranty for the sole plate only. I purchased this iron on August 6, 2018 for $24.96 from Walmart, and apparently the model is 19800 Look in the text below the video, and if possible, I'll provide a link for purchasing this type of iron. I'm only going to use distilled water in this new iron to try to avoid some of the problems I had in the other one. And even though I've had this iron for a couple of months now, this is actually my first use. My ironing just kept getting put on the back burner, and it was summertime, and I wasn't wearing a lot of clothes that need to be ironed, honestly. Now it's winter time, or actually the cold part of fall.
This iron has what's called a max fill line, which is there, which is all the water that needs to go in there. Actually, just now I'm doing the cord. And to be honest, it's the end of October, and I bought this iron in all, the first of August. I'm just now getting to it. Plugging it in, and it has a steam control where you can have it with absolutely no steam. I normally like it with a lot of steam. Here's where you add the water. It has a self-cleaning thing. At the end, you can do this, and it, um, it's supposed to clean itself when it gets hot enough. If you want to give a burst of steam, you can hit this button. If you want to hit spray, it sprays water out here. Like if you've got something that's really, really wrinkled, you can give it like a little squirt of water right here and then iron it down. The iron has very easy to use controls. This is a dolls are mine from off to using a synthetic, which is um, you want to use a, a low heat because it can melt it to silk and wool, which can withstand a stronger heat because those are uh, natural fibers. And then on up to uh, other natural fibers, linen and cotton, that can withstand a lot of high heat. So that's going to be your top setting there. And it tells you that you can use steam with those settings. So I'm going to be ironing cotton things, so I'm going to put it on the highest setting. And again, it has the steam setting. When it gets hot enough, I'll show you that. And then it has the spray setting there and an indicator light there. It's very ergonomic. Let's see if I can show you how the... Um, this is minimizing the amount of steam. It's going to maximize the amount of steam. This is the spray feature. You can see that it sprays water that you can then iron over if you have a wrinkle. And that's why I burned it with a, an old iron. If you leave it down too, too long, it's going to automatically cut off. It's going to give you that little sound to tell you that it's about to cut itself off. And if you want to extra burst the steam, you can hit that and it'll do that for you. Very nice. Let's iron some clothes. I have some very wrinkled pants here because I washed them um, and they've been sitting here for a while. And the way that I iron my pants, I find the inseam, flatten that. I do the legs first and then do the waist. Uh, I set up these very wrinkled pants. I put the inseam flat, smoothed it out, and then I'm prepared to iron the legs first, and then I do the waist and the pelvic region last. This iron is super easy to use. I like the ergonomics of it. It has a narrow little front like that, like a little porpoise nose, I guess. It makes it easy for me to use. Take the other leg. It has plenty of steam. I like an iron that gets hot and that has a lot of steam. Otherwise, I believe I'm wasting my time. I like for it to make short work of the wrinkles. I like ironing. I do want to get done as effectively and efficiently as possible. These are super wrinkled jeans. And that handled it quite nicely. And then I'm going to put these flat. Pockets are flat on the inside. I can fill with they are. Iron these down. Sometimes I put them over the end of the ironing board. Sometimes I don't. <clears throat> Spin it around.
Okay, the other side. And that's about as ironed as I, as I want my jeans. See how it handles a pair of jean jeans? Those are probably going to be the hardest ones to do, and these are also pretty wrinkled. They've been actually kind of sitting needing ironing for a while. Same procedure. This is also a way that you can tell if your pants are high quality if they're cut and um, the bias is off. The legs are not going to lie for that one of these. These are um, Victoria's Secret jeans. Yeah, they were about 60 bucks like back in the day, which is not really expensive for a pair of jeans. But they're extremely well made. They hold up for a long, long, long time. You just need the iron. They do a really good job. Take this other leg. And I don't put a crease on the front of my pants. Um, and I'm not going to show you how to do that because I can do it. That's another video. Right now I'm just showing you how effective this iron is. This is why I bought another one just like this. And I'm very happy that they had the same exact brand at Walmart that I had before. Because it had all the features that I like. And that's flat enough for that for me. So you can see for what I need for a pair of jeans, even though they're really wrinkled and pretty thick jeans, I can get done very quickly. And this is what they look like ironed. flat enough for me. This is a very wrinkled, what I believe to be linen tablecloth. Linen is supposed to be one of the most difficult things to iron out and get flat. It's one of the easiest fabrics to wrinkle. Let's test this iron on this linen, allegedly linen, tablecloth. My ironing board is not big enough to put all of it on there at one time, so we'll have to do it by quarters. This is where I like that burst of steam. When you're ironing something that, like this right here, has a crease in it. You can put that burst of steam on there. If you like, you can spray. And then iron it out. Now it's going to take a little bit longer to iron a tablecloth to get all the wrinkles out. My jeans, I didn't care to have all the wrinkles out. That's not really the style I'm looking for on a tablecloth. Like this, I'm not, um, I don't want any wrinkles left in it. The iron seems to be doing quite well. And since it's new, I have no brown spots on it, which is really, really nice. Let me turn this around and see if I can get a little bit better view. See how wrinkled it is? That burst the same. Also, it would be more effective if I would let it cool off flat after I ironed it after I ironed it flat, just let it cool that way instead of moving it around. Just trying to kind of hurry. Now this is really stubborn right here, so this is where that little spray to wet it might come in handy. And the iron is beeping, telling me it wants to cut off because it was flat for a long time. But I could take a little more time than I do with my jeans and, and get this very, very flat, which I will do, but not for all of that. Thanks for watching my video review of the Hamilton Beach Iron. Remember, it's free to like, subscribe, leave a comment below about uh, this one or another model of iron that you like or that one that you don't like. 
And until next time, let's help each other out with all of these consumer issues so that we're smarter shoppers. If you have time, watch one of these videos before you go. Thank you.